Welcome to a new what I eat in a day. In this video, I only ate meals I found on Pinterest and I will link all the recipes below. So for breakfast, I made these oat pancakes. And to begin, you were supposed to add half of a banana to a blender along with half a cup of oats. I only made one serving, by the way. Then add baking powder and cinnamon. I actually went ahead and added a little bit of ground flax seeds as well, just to make it more balanced. I guess you could also add protein powder, but I didn't want to steer away from the original recipe too much. And lastly, I added pea milk before blending. I focused mainly on the recipe and kind of forgot about the toppings, so I just made the toppings as similar as possible using what I had on hand. I didn't have any strawberries, so I just heated up some frozen blueberries instead before I fried the pancakes, because at least they're berries. And then I fried the pancakes in coconut oil. In total, one serving of this recipe made four pancakes and I'm actually surprised that I didn't burn these because usually when I make pancakes in this pan, they tend to get burnt. But this is the best pan I have at the moment, so that's why I'm not using a different one. Anyway, these turn out more golden, so I was happy about that. On one pancake stack, I guess it was Nutella, bananas, peanut butter, and cacao nibs. I can't have nuts though, so I only had uh, banana and cacao nibs. And I could have had tahini, but I only like tahini if it's mixed with other things. I think it's quite bitter otherwise. And for the berry one, I just added the warm blueberries because I didn't have any yogurt or any other berries at home. Nonetheless, this recipe was super easy and the pancakes tasted really good and obviously you can top them with whatever you want. I figured I could sprinkle on ham seeds as well, so that's what I did. For lunch, I didn't pick a recipe, I was inspired by this picture. So first, I added chickpeas to a bowl and seasoned them with paprika and salt. Since I only had the picture and didn't have a recipe to follow, I didn't know exactly which spices they were using, so I just picked what I like. Then I roasted them in a pan with avocado oil. It's just a little bit quicker than in the oven, so it's perfect for lunch. It looks like sourdough bread from a bakery in the picture and I didn't have fancy bakery bread so I had this store-bought sourdough bread instead. So yeah, I toasted the bread and mashed an avocado on top of the half or like one half.
Then I added two plum tomato slices. If I weren't following a picture, I probably would have added more. And I didn't bother with the basil because it felt pointless to buy it, only to use two leaves. On the other half, my intention was obviously to add beet hummus, but they only had regular hummus at the store, so I used that instead. I have never successfully made my own beet hummus, so I didn't even want to bother trying. <laughs> and then I added some of the roasted chickpeas. I also added these cucumber ribbons. I'm pretty sure they had sprinkled sesame seeds on them, but I thought I had them at home, but yeah, I only had hemp seeds on hand, so I used that instead. I also want to mention that I had the rest of the chickpeas and extra veggies on the side because there wasn't a lot on the actual bread. I forgot to film it until I had almost eaten all of it, but I had a little bit of a leftover stew that was also from Pinterest. I will link that recipe too if I can find it, but honestly I don't think I can find it because I don't really remember. I only did the Pinterest thing for my main meals, so for my snack I only had a protein bar. For dinner, I made this anti-inflammatory lentil soup. So I first added onion to a pot and then I added carrots and celery. it cook for a while and then I added red lentils that I had soaked and rinsed. And then I added water. For the spices I added turmeric, ground cumin, salt and pepper. I let it cook for however long it said to cook it, but it got slightly overcooked because I think the temperature I used was too high. Anyway, in the end, I added fresh parsley and lemon juice. It doesn't look super appetizing in this lighting, but it was a good soup and it felt very healthy. It tasted very healthy. With the soup, I just had two buckwheat cakes with avocado, hummus, and nutritional yeast. One of them got a little broken. Anyways, that's all I ate this day. I hope you enjoyed this video and found some new recipes and meal inspiration. Thank you for watching. Don't forget to like and subscribe.